Well, hello. Welcome to Song and Story Time. Text the number on your screen, 260-593-1983. And let us know that you're here so we can give you a shout out. I know a lot of people are traveling right now. Maybe you're doing that or maybe you're home after a week of travel or a home after a week of a break from school. So let us know you're here and maybe tell us a little bit about your week. Mm -hmm. Last Sunday, we encouraged you to watch for the ways that God would show up to you in the week to come. So if you have any stories of that, let us know about those. But first, let's have some sing-along time with Matthew and Hannah. Hey, good morning, boys and girls, moms and dads. You're definitely going to need instruments today, especially on our second song. And Hannah, you got your instrument ready? Ready for some real loud banging today? Well, the first one we're going to do is a Suderman song, again. It's called, There's a New World Coming. And on this, uh, the words that are projected will be the uh, chorus. And so I'll be singing some verses in between. And as usual, if you... Know those words, go ahead and sing them out. Sing them loud enough so we can hear them over here at CMC. There's a new world coming. Oh, there's a new world coming. It's already here. There's a new world on its way. There's a new world coming. It's already here. Let's begin to live that way. Do you remember that? Good. Okay, we're going to do it a little bit faster now, see if we can get it up to speed. There's a new world coming, it's already here. There's a new world on its way. There's a new world coming, it's already here. Let's begin to live that way. Can you imagine the big bad wolf? Making friends with the lamb Every creature in harmony A little child leading them Oh, there's a new world coming It's already here There's a new world on its way There's a new world coming It's already here Let's begin to live that way can you imagine the city streets full of help and joy? Old men and women who live in peace, the laughter of girls and boys. Oh, there's a new world coming, it's already here. There's a new world on its way. Oh, there's a new world coming. It's already here, let's begin to live that way. Can you imagine the world restored, earth and heavens too? Right at home with the one who says, I am making all things new. Oh, there's a new world coming. It's already here. There's a new world on its way. There's a new world coming. It's already here. Let's begin to live that way. Try it again. Oh, there's a new world coming. It's already here. There's a new world on its way. Oh, there's a new world coming. It's already here. Let's begin to live that way. Let's begin to live that way. Whoo, great start. You know, I think this next song you're going to have to stand up. This is the kind of song where you stand up. Hannah, you can stay down because you have to play your drums. But we can imagine all those children standing up, I hope. Because this one you really need to uh, move around a little bit on. It's called... You got to sing when the Spirit says sing. Grab your instruments too, because it's nice to have an instrument playing while you're doing this too. Yeah. 
You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. Sing when the Spirit says sing. When the Spirit says sing, you gotta sing right along. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. Oh, you gotta dance when the Spirit says dance. You gotta dance when the Spirit says dance. When the Spirit says dance, you gotta dance right along. You gotta dance when the Spirit says dance. You gotta clap when the Spirit says clap. You gotta clap when the Spirit says clap. When the Spirit says clap, you gotta clap right along. You gotta clap when the Spirit says clap. You gotta drum when the Spirit says drum. You gotta drum when the Spirit says drum. When the Spirit says drum, you gotta drum right along. You gotta drum when the Spirit says drum. You gotta hush when the Spirit says hush. You gotta hush when the Spirit says hush. When the Spirit says hush, you gotta hush right along. Hush when the Spirit says hush. There. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. When the Spirit says sing, you gotta sing right along. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. One more time, you gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. When the Spirit says sing, you gotta sing right along. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. Because you were running. Of course you're hot. Five seconds. Nice being with you. Bye. All right. Thank you, Matthew and Hannah. And I believe Matthew and Hannah are tuning in right now as well. So we're really glad to know that you're here with and us. We got one from we did get a text mm -hmm. from Addie that the, the Miller Lehman household is here with us, and they say that they are thankful for the ability to visit with family safely this week in Virginia. <laughs> nice choice. Yeah, that's sometimes how God shows up for us too, mm -hmm. isn't it? And giving us those opportunities to be with people and to get to travel. We also have Jamie here with us, and we have Catherine with us. This is our first week getting Catherine in person, so we're glad to have you too. Well, let's go ahead and review the big story. Remember to join in on words sometimes. God created, it was good. good. Humans missed, missed the mark. mark. God stuck, stuck with, with them. People. God called a family. family. When the people became slaves, God sent Moses, Moses. and delivered them. They learned to live in shalom, shalom community. community. They learned that there is only one, one God, God, and we love God. God with all our being. The people got to the promised, promised land, land, and they got in a cycle of missing, missing the, the mark. mark, and God sent judges. judges. God called Samuel, Samuel to be a prophet, but the people wanted a king. king. So Samuel anointed kings. But all those kings continued to miss, miss the, the mark. mark. And the kingdom divided into the north, Israel, Israel and the south, Judah. Judah. God worked through prophets and stuck with, with the, the people. people. Even as first the north and then the southern kingdom fell to foreign superpowers. superpowers. Many of the people were captured and put into Exile. exile. And others were left in the ruins of what had been their home. In exile, the people learned a lot. They learned how to worship, worship God, God and about God's hope. hope. And after 70 years, the exiled people were allowed to return. They rebuilt Jerusalem and the temple, temple. and they waited for a Messiah. Messiah. God sent Jesus. Jesus. A baby Messiah who was announced by angels, angels visited by shepherds, shepherds and, and magi, magi, and proclaimed by Simeon, Simeon and, and Anna. Anna. When Jesus' life was in danger, his parents fled with him to Egypt, Egypt and stayed there until it was safe for them to come back and settle in Nazareth. Nazareth. 
Jesus grew up in the wisdom of God and was baptized by his cousin, John. John. He called many disciples disciples and named 12 apostles apostles to join him in his work. Jesus taught what it means to live inside Inside the the blessing blessing at the heart of God. Jesus walked on water, fed multitudes, multitudes, and welcomed children, children. and showed us how to love. Love. Jesus entered Jerusalem Jerusalem. and was proclaimed as the Messiah. Messiah. He angered people with his teachings. He was arrested and killed. The whole earth Earth. trembled when Jesus died. His friends took care of his body and put him in a tomb tomb and watched over him. The people had really missed missed the mark, mark. but God stuck stuck with with them. God's love is stronger than death. Death. Jesus rose rose again. again. He walked and he ate and he talked with his friends. Then he ascended to heaven heaven and told his disciples that they would receive power power from the Holy Holy Spirit. Spirit. And now they're waiting for that promised power. And here's our song for the week. Together in one place, sounds of wind and tongues of fire, praise in unknown languages. The people understand and wonder. Should we try that again? Sure. All right. Together in one place, sounds of wind and tongues of fire, praise in unknown languages. The people understand and wonder. We kind of have to remember the other songs, so it's pretty hard to remember the micro song. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, I remember two songs every day. And I don't okay. know if you've noticed, but every time we get into kind of a new part of the story, a new melody comes in. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we have this new melody now in this new part of the story, which is going to be kind of a, about the, the beginnings of the early church. Cool. But, so this, but the song keeps coming back to, there are to parts the same that circle tunes. Back. That's true. Yep, yep. That's true. There's, there's a lot of spiraling going on in this yep. song. So today's story, uh, the story of Pentecost and the Holy Spirit showing up for the early believers of Jesus. There's, there's always something new to discover in, in all these stories that we read in the Bible. So, Zeph, when we read this story at home, what did we do to help us explore this story? Well, we used our senses. Did we like taste the, the Bible? What do you mean no. we used our senses? We used the five senses. Hearing, mm-hmm. smell, touch, see, and taste. And we... For example, we wrote down tally marks for each of them. Mm-hmm. Like for here, we we found twenty. We got twenty-seven tally marks on that one because there were a lot of times where the Bible said here. Yeah. So as we read the story in Acts chapter two, every time there was something that had to do with our five senses. We, we took note of that. So as you read it this week, maybe you'll do the same with looking at your five senses, or you could also maybe find like four elements that are in the story, like air and fire and water and earth. Or you could pick out all the verbs, all the action, and notice who's doing the action, who's receiving the action. Most of the story refers to things in the, in the Hebrew Bible, in the Old Testament. So another thing you could do is to see if you can catch all of the references to other stories that we've looked at this year. So when this story happened, when this day of Pentecost came, all the people were in Jerusalem for a celebration called Shavuot. It's a Jewish festival. So Malachi, can you tell us a little bit more about this festival? 
So, sha, 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 uh, I, <laughs> it's very I, hard to say. I've tried Shavuot. so hard and I can't pronounce it. So, Shavuot is the Hebrew name that I can't pronounce. Mm -hmm. And Pentecost is the Greek name for the that same you, thing. That you Shavuot, can't yeah, pronounce. that I can pronounce. So, it's basically the spring harvest festi festival. Mm -hmm. um, and people also celebrated the gift of the Torah. The first books of our Bible, the first five. So they were celebrating the gift that helped them basically know how to live in God's way, which made it pretty interesting that it's also in the Holy Spirit was realized by people there. Yeah. And notice Malachi said the Holy Spirit was realized. He didn't say this is when the Holy Spirit first came. Or was Right. Mm -hmm. So, so the Holy Spirit. Some, some um, kind of a an, a frequent misperception is that this is the first time the Holy Spirit shows up. But think back to the first story that we did in this series, Genesis one verse two. The wind of God blew over the face of the earth. That word, the wind of God. It, in, when it's translated into Greek in what we call the Septuagint, which was the version of the Hebrew Bible that people were reading at the time of Jesus. It does make a big connection because it's, it's the same word for the wind of God as is used for the Holy Spirit in the Pentecost story. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit has been showing up through the whole story. But and the Holy it, Spirit... And it got showed up when Jesus rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. and, and when Jesus was baptized, right? Yeah. Yep. The Spirit of God descended like a dove. And, and I, think, I think it's kind of weird that Jesus was baptized by his cousin. Is it kind of strange that Jesus was yeah. baptized by his cousin? Maybe. Yeah. Um, so the, the Holy Spirit has, it, it's just understood differently at Pentecost, but she's been showing up through the whole Bible. She just shows up in a new way in the story of Pentecost. Well, let's see if we have any new call outs. Jonathan Ruel sent an image, so he must be Ooh. here. <laughs> oh, I love this. We, Jonathan this week did a drawing of Matthew Lind leading the <laughs> song time, and it's fantastic. That's cool. Isn't that, that is cool? cool. Well, hi to Jonathan and Krista and Kiara and anyone else who happens to be tuning in with you. All right, I think we are ready to sing our big song. Ready? Yep, here we go. This is the story of how it all began. God made matter and chaos shattered. Eve and Adam, they tried to hide. The world got violent and God replied with a mark and a flood and a rainbow sign. God's love written on skin and sky. Then God called a family to be a blessing to the earth. Oh, a mother and her favorite son wrestle for the blessing. Another son becomes a slave, the land is saved from famine. God's family grows, Egypt oppressed as they groan to God. And God sends Moses, ten strange signs say, please release them. By the sea, God saves them. Oh, the people complain, and God rains bread, daily food, and ten new rules. Five sisters come and ask for land. God says yes, amend the law. Moses says in your new life across the Jordan, love God with your whole heart and with all your being and your strength. Now listen, God is one, only God. God is one, only God. Cross over Jordan, stores and stones, circuits and shops, and the walls come down. God sends judges like Deborah and the land has rest. Ruth's worth more than seven sons, redeem the lost with steadfast love. Corruption in the temple then, God sends Samuel. God gives him a prophet, they ask for a king. 
Does God, God need a temple? A wise king forgets. And when a bully rules the land, the nation tears apart and loses David's heart. Through a widow's gift and a prophet's cry, God gives life in desperate times. Josiah reads a misplaced role. He turns to God wholeheartedly, like David did in his time. God gives Jeremiah a picture of God's ruined family. Is there any hope left? Is there any hope left? Is there any hope left for you? Jerusalem, any hope? Any hope left? Is there any hope left for you? Jerusalem. By the streams of Babylon, how can we sing when you are gone? Jerusalem, Jerusalem, I'm in a valley of human bones. These bones are Israel, God's breath is hope. Haman plans death for Esther's exiles. She risks her life so they might survive. Finally, God's family rebuilt the temple in Jerusalem. God plunges them into a sea of joy and celebration of only God. God is one, only God. Comfort to Jerusalem, your warfare finally ceases. Matthew lists these generations, Abraham to Jesus. The angel says you'll have a son, and God will give him David's throne. Mary says God looked at me, now I'm the luckiest person around. Mary, now a pregnant fiancé, makes a grueling journey. She has her baby, shepherds see angels, declaring God's glory and peace among people. The spirits and shepherds and elders and prophets to tell those who wait their Messiah has come. Herod gets nervous, the magi find Jesus. They hide their discovery and hurry back home. Once again, an angel comes to Joseph, so they make good their escape. Oh, Jesus in the temple, astonishing the crowd. Jesus with his parents, Jesus growing up. Down by the Jordan with the prophet John, Jesus asked to be baptized, and the skies are open. A dove descends, a voice from heaven says, This is my son, the son I love. I'm pleased with him. Jesus calls disciples to be with him in the work he's doing. Oh, Jesus teaches the disciples. This is life inside the blessing. You're blessed, you who are empty. You're blessed, all you who mourn. You're blessed, you who ache for God, whose inner life is pure. This is life inside the blessing. Jesus walks on the water. Peter tries and begins to sink. Jesus grabs his hand and the wind dies down. Jesus sees the crowds with compassion, so he teaches them for days and days. The people are hungry, there's baskets left over, and no one left out. People bring their children to Jesus. Jesus blesses them and says, you must accept God's good government, like a little child would. 
or you won't get it at all. Oh, what's most important? Love God with everything and love your neighbor, whoever that may be. Jesus tells Martha, you're upset about many things, just one thing's essential. It's what Mary's choosing here. Life inside the blessing. Life inside the blessing. Save now, David's son rides on a donkey. He will judge nations, separate the sheep from goats. In the garden, Jesus prays. Yes, Father, if there's no other way, Jesus dies, the veil rips. Surely this was God's kid. Crying, the tomb is empty. Jesus meets her and speaks her name. Jesus appears to many of his close friends, breaks bread with them, shows them his tired hands. While he blesses them, he's carried up to heaven. After he asks them to wait in Jerusalem, together in one place, sound of wind and tongues of fire. God loves every one of us, it's true, and God loves the universe. All right, we hope you have a really great week figuring out what the winds of the Spirit are going to do with you this week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. See you next week.